Hi, in this video we are going to take a look on the stealth 4X, the U9X1, the Z1, and the Z1 Plus. So these four phones by Nantology are powered by quad-core processor, 1.2 GHz, ARM Cortex-A7 processor by MediaTek. Four of them have the same processor, the same GP renderer, PowerVR SGX544 MP. Take a look on the system, four of them have the same Android version 4.2.1, same hardware NT6589, same kernel, the same screen resolution 720x1280p or 1280x720p, whatever you call it. Screen density, more or less the same. Total RAM, the same 971 megabytes. And the difference starts from here. The internal, the internal storage for four of this phone. The Z1 Plus have 3.94 gigs. The Z1 have slightly larger internal storage for application installation, 4.92. The X1 have 3.94, same with the Z1 Plus, and the Cell 4X have 0.98 gigs only because the Cell 4X only have 4 gigs of internal storage, 4 gigs of ROM. Let's move on to the next screen, the battery, not, not much difference. The sensors are also the same, 4 of them. So 4 of them have the accelerometer, the proximity sensor, the light sensor, orientation sensor, and magnetic field sensor. So, Nothing will be missed out on here. Let's take a look on the other differences of this phone. The Stealth 4X and the Z1 Plus have similar sky screen. The Z1 have 5.7 inch screen and the X1 have the small screen of this 4 which is 4.8 screen but it's have the AMOLED, Super AMOLED HD screen the rest of them only have normal LCD screen with IPS display but the Z1 and the Z1 Plus have Gorilla Glass display so that gives extra protection on your screen let's talk about the camera the U9X1 have 13 megapixel at the back and 2 megapixel at the front the Stealth 4X have 8 megapixel at the back and 2 megapixel up front. The U9 Z1 Plus have 13 at the back and 5 up front. And last but not least, the Z1 only have 12 at the back, but 5 megapixel up front. That's the difference between the camera. Apart from that. The internal software are more or less the same. The stuff will have some extra modification on the UI just because it's one of the Phantom lineup where the U UI series sticks to it the Android stock UI more or less like that. And I have modification I have this one you can see slightly different because this is my daily driver and I already I changed the UI. I think that's pretty much the difference between this four. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Nintology videos.